good. Hey, I wanted a, what I want, what, when I sit here and listen, I think about, you know, obviously it's about our, our honorees today and all of those that have been honored in the Hall of Heroes over the last, uh, I guess, uh, what, what year did we start? 92? Yeah, 1992 we started almost 30, year, 30 years ago. A lot of folks, uh, 100 now today with uh, Colonel Haynes, 100 have been inducted. But I, what I, what I want to start with is this organization that brought us together. The greater organization is Arkansas State University. And then the ROTC program is the, uh, the organization I think that we all owe a debt of gratitude. I heard that, those comments, and uh, I have my own story I'll share with you real quick. Some of you know it. But uh, what I want to encourage, and it sort of goes along with what the... Uh, Chancellor had said, is that we have to keep this program strong. It's so critical to the success of our nation, uh, obviously to our, our state and our, our institution at Arkansas State University. The program started, uh, help me, 18 or 1936, I think, is when it started. So it's around 86 years old, if I've got my math right. A lot of great folks have come through here, men and women have graduated from this program. I want to tell you a real quick story. Um, I was in a meeting, and I, of course I'm in business now, like uh, Colonel Bell I, uh, in, with a huge defense contract company that makes track vehicles. And I was, uh, had a meeting with a three-star. It's been about a, a couple of months ago. And I, I sat across from her, and I knew who she was before I even met with her. I had met her before. I knew her. I knew her history. Most importantly, I knew her history with Arkansas State University. And uh, she was the uh, cadet, or, or the, the cadet command, commander, back for those that remember maybe 10 or 12 years ago when we were thinking about shutting down the program, show of hands. Well, that was her. Well, guess what cup I decided to carry with me that day? My Arkansas State University coffee cup. So I, when I walked in, I set that cup down right in front of her. We didn't talk about anything that I wanted to talk about. We talked about that cup and that she recognized uh, that emblem. It was almost like it was burned in her mind. The, and that's powerful. And the reason she remembered it was because of the dedication of the folks up here on the stage, the cadets that are, that are in the program, the cadre that are supporting it, and then all of you that are either graduate from the program or support the ROTC program. That's incredibly important. Uh, I said I would just briefly talk about the program and what it means to me. Uh, in 1983, or correction, 84, I walked into my PMS's office, uh, Professor of Military Science Office, Colonel Bowen. Who knows Colonel Bowen, remember? Uh, he was my professor of military science. And I said, I resigned from the program. I walked in there, I said, I quit. And uh, I, I literally uh, threw my hat down, walked out the door, I'm done. That was it. Week went by. And Monday, it was Monday evening. Uh, we used a pay phone in the, where I lived and actually lived in a fraternity house. We had a pay phone. And, I, and, I, and uh, the phone rang. You know, you hear it. Somebody comes and gets me, hey, Colonel Bowen's on the phone for you. I quit that program, I said. So I walked in there, and he summarily convinced me to stay with the program. N needless to say, I finished last in my class of 36. <laughs> Think about that. And then, and then take a look at the bio. This, this program, for me and I think for many of us, we owe a lot to it. Uh, you know, this Veterans Day weekend, we, we remember all who served. And there are few that are as special as the three that are in front of us today. I've got a chance to talk to a couple of them prior to, uh, prior to, the, comp, to uh, the start of this today. Uh, you know, I was, flew in from D.C. last night, got into Little Rock, Two-hour drive. I uh, spent the night with my in-laws last night, and then and then uh, got here. But but we we look at the three inductees: Colonel Bell, 
uh, Colonel Davis, and then our 100th inductee, Colonel Hayes, Haynes, uh, into the Hall of Heroes. They represent, as we've learned, the 98th, 99th, and 100th inductee. Again, starting 30 years ago. Upon graduation from this program, like many of you that graduated, these men had exemplary careers. I learned today that Colonel Bell and I were in the same unit, not at the same time, but at the same unit more than, uh, gosh, 40 years ago now, I guess, or right at 40 years ago. Kind of entered this the same way. Field artillerymen, multiple deployments to combat zones, and you heard about his career. Deploys deployments all, all over the world. And then Colonel Davis, we just barely glossed over the stint in the Marine Corps, but about two days ago, they had a birthday. And I'm trying to remember, I want to say 247, something like that. So, they, so Marine Corps birthday is right around the same time as we have Veterans Day. And, uh, you know, just picking things out of his bio, because I, I, too, was raised from extremely humble be uh, beginnings. But his story is different. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a whole lot harder. And I, I don't think we all realize how hard it was in Arkansas in the 60s and 70s. I mean, I, I don't have to say any more. It's incredibly difficult. When I first read his bio, when, he, when the application came through, I said, that, that's amazing. Uh, it's just a testament to his fortitude. And, and I, I love the, if I can, you can. And I would add another comma to it and, and put I will to that as well. So congratulations to you as well. And then uh, Belinda, uh, just what an amazing story. And uh, reading uh, uh, Colonel Haynes' bio, uh, just an amazing, amazing man. Uh, sort of exemplifies just the, the, the service that we all love and respect and that, that is the cornerstone of our freedom in this country. With our 100th inductee, we continue this long line of exceptional leaders who leave this university, make a tremendous impact on our state, our community, our state, and our nation. And, and we've learned today the world. We want to remember them today, honor them today, but we've, we've got one other group I want to recognize as well, and I think most of you have stood up already, but it's the family members. Because without you, none of this is going to happen at all. There is absolutely no way. So I want to just uh, a round of applause, but if you would stand, a round of applause to you, to all the family members. Thank you. Thank you so much. In closing, I want to I say thank you for all that attended today and, uh, and look forward to kind of talking to each of you, uh, getting to know our honorees, inductees a little bit better today. Uh, and then uh, also uh, what to, to follow is a, a victory by our Red Wolves over UMass. So go Red Wolves. Thank you.